Hello guys and welcome to Ho Chi Plays Prison Architects. Now this game was in early access. It was in early access for about three years. Finally got released today and I was I've been very excited about playing this game. And uh, no, they've added a few more features for the final release and they've added a um campaign mode, like a story mode, get new players into the game. So that's what we're gonna be playing in this let's play. Now if you've not really heard of this game before um, it's akin to the old bullfrog games, like your know, theme park and theme hospital. Um, but instead of building a theme park or a hospital, you build a prison and lock people up in that prison. Try and prevent them from shanking each other, gaping and smuggling in contraband. And all the uh, whole things that prisoners do. And you can either try and form them. Well, not the goal of the game. Stop them from committing more crimes, I guess. Uh, you can do that a couple of ways. You can reform them, or you can just lock them up so they never want to come back to your prison again because it's the worst experience of their life. So, yeah, it's this, it's more of a sandbox game. And then there is a campaign mode, which is what we will be playing. This is new to uh, version 1.0. Edit a full campaign to teach new players how to play the game. And get a little bit complicated. And we're going to play through that. And then maybe at the end we'll we'll build our own prison, and you guys can give me tips or advice, or you can guess things what you'd like to see in the prison, what kind of prison will run. Yeah, so that could be rather interesting. But that way we'll just go through the campaign and see what that has to offer. Oh, so watch the opening cinematic and get on with the game. Now death roll. First chapter, I've unlocked chapter 2 because I've messed up slightly, but do this. Uh, we have been contracted to build an execution chamber at this prison in time for the scheduled execution of one of their inmates. So let's go. A prison. They will end up building something like this in the future. But first, let's see what this CEO wants. See what he has to say for himself. This is a tough one. As a prisoner incarcerated at this facility, he's been convicted of a double murder, sentenced to death. That's where we come in. In contract, you could construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. I do get the best jobs in this world. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. Let's get started. Construct a new building here. We also need an entrance to the execution. Build a large jail door into the south wall. Yeah, if you are new to this game, I would suggest you play through story mode. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm a bit of a season pro, I would say. And I just want to see story. I really this this particular sort of chapter was already in the alpha. I did really enjoy it. So we'll um, keep quiet, and you can enjoy it too. I hope. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we click down here, foundations, and then choose what we kind of want to build it out of. Quiet. And drag and drop build rooms. 
The workmen are responsible for construction of the build. We collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. We use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. The slowest part of construction is you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we, get around, while we wait, take a look around. Use the WASD keys and the arrow keys to move around. And use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So yeah, they're off building, so... When you start building prisons, you'll have things like this. You have a nice yard for your prisoners to uh, exercise in. We have prison guards here. For sacking? There's no sacking. Probably need him. And then you have uh, your storage room. You have your cells here with your prisoners in. All your prisoners have names and different files. So he's sentenced to 12 years for robbery. With a family he's got. And time he's served. What he's got left. Now some of these were, you could buy your face in the game, and you could buy... You spent a little bit more money, you could name one of these prisoners, and then you could write a little bio for them. Uh, so you can find one, maybe. There we go. Jonas, Polish... Uh, uh, Nikola. Nikola? He went to the bank for an application for a loan, but was rejected. In a rage, he beat up the bank advisor, took his old car, and drove it into the bank, killing two people. This is eight years for carjacking. I know nothing about the uh, killing of the two people. Well, for now, when he had a good lawyer, I suppose. He's been sentenced to eight years for carjacking. But we'll get more into those later, as the game progresses. There's our man here. Being sentenced to death. Poor fella. We'll find out about his story in a second. Is the priest giving him his uh, final words of consolation? The priest, too. Yeah, you have like cell blocks, showers, you can clean, more cells. The entranceway here where everyone comes in and all your goods come in. Canteens, so you can feed them. Power supply over here. More cells and a shower, the kitchen, supply the canteens. Offices here for various workers. These guys unlock certain things for you. I research things. We'll get more into that a bit later on, I'm guessing. So, what are we doing here? Oh, we need to put a door in this thing. So, we build the foundations and the objects. The large jail door. Now, this game has been in early access for. It was in early access for three years. And it's been heralded as one of the successes of Early Access. The model works quite well. They had a basic prison. That works. And then they kept adding like new features to it. Like library and execution. They added quite late into um, production. But yeah, I'd, I've been playing for a while. And I really love this game. And I wanted to share it with you guys. So... Right to the CEO. Oh, inside the building, I want a cell and an execution room. Petition the space by constructing some brick walls. Go down here. Brick walls. I don't want brick walls, I want concrete walls. Brick wall, but concrete works just as well. We've got the outside with concrete, so. We'll keep concrete throughout this building. The rest of the prison is mostly in brick, concrete around the sides. Usually I'll stick to wood and I'll use either concrete or brick, depending on how I'm feeling. Being here, they've got a bit of a mix. But, it's entirely up to you, as I say, it's sandbox. I mean, people have made some fantastic looking prisons. Some horrible, horrible prisons. Everyone's locked up all the time, armed guards roaming around. And they're all available on the Steam Workshop as well. So you can download those and you can see what other people have done. People have built... Uh, Prisoners, prisons that look like things. One that looks like the um, SS Enterprise from Star Trek. The SS Enterprise. Chip from Star Trek, you guys know what I mean. Yeah, it's, there's a lot you could do with this game. Like I say, I really enjoy it. Now, once we've gone through the story, if you guys have enjoyed it, we might start building our own prison. And you can give us any tips and Something we'd like to see in that prison. There we go. Now, enlarge the old doors to those dividing walls. You can retain an object by 
before placement by clicking the middle mouse button or pressing R. We can also zoom with Q and E. So objects, large jail door, one there, we put the middle mouse, spin it round. Now they still haven't done this, I really wish they would. But you spin it, I mean, it looks the same. That and that look the same, but one opens this way. One will open this way. I really wish they had just a little arrow on there or something, just to tell you which way it opens. Sometimes if I was to put one here, I wouldn't want it to open over here, I'd want it to open this way. Likewise, if I put one here, I'd want it to open this way instead, but... There may be a mod for that. This game is full of mods. Well, not full of mods, it's got no mods in it to start with, but you can download new mods. There's some crazy mods as well, this landmine mod of one I saw. Put landmines around your prison to stop people escaping. That was quite good. I say we might get into that later on, but right now I'm just playing through the story. So that's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in the small area where our condemned inmate will live, and designate an execution room itself in the larger room. This is this is the very very basics of the game. So we click cell, it says here 51, because there is uh, 51 cells dotted around this prison. And made that into 52. And execution. These are some of the other rooms you can build, like visitation rooms, so... We see their families and such, and also smuggle things in. Anyway, those new rooms will have requirements before they become functional. There only is the bed and the toilet. The execution room requires the electric chair. Which you built your buildings, uh, built your room building, and then sectioned off your rooms. Click in here, and you put objects in. Like a lot of objects in this game. All these. You leave this tab down, then it kind of guesses depending on what you can see. I guess cell you won't want to put an execution room. Uh, you won't want to put the electric chair in a cell. Oop, not all safe. And again, you can press the middle mouse, spin these around, put them where you want. So you can also search for things in here if you can't find them. Whoops. So I'll drink some machine, while I have a dog crate, full desk. No. Click off of that. Ah. No, click off of that. Easy arrows. Click, click. There we go. Now we can move again. I'm in there. You can. There's a there's a lot of options with this game. A lot of things you can do. And this is only a small map. Slightly smaller than. Maybe slightly larger than the small small map. Might be about like that. Yeah, you can set up when you start how big you want the map to be. And that determines how much you can fit in. If you start with a small map, you can always extend for so much money. You can sort of move out this way or move away and build more onto your prison. Right, so that work, man, that working. Let's just speed up the time a little bit using these keys. So they get the job done a little bit quicker. Guys, put that electric chair in. There we go. We got the CEO again. There we go. I see essentials taken care of, but there's still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you though. Those that, these aren't strictly required. It depends on how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. This cell could be improved with an outward facing window and a small bookshelf. The facility would look better with a higher quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside, you could have some lighting and a paved path where you think you'd need to. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey. Feature once, would you believe? Now a place to decide if you deserve it. The law has made it that decision. You are just here to do a job. If you are satisfied with the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. And click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. So, I get your to-do list here. Usually when you take out contracts, you'll get to do, I'll get you the money you need to 
do more things. But for now, I think we will. Let's have a look. Oh, all other windows to this cell. You have a small window here, and you've got a large window next to it. I think we're going to put a large window. Way that way. Never, never know which way it faces in, faces out. And that way it looks nice. Or oh, just look outside onto a brick wall. Uh, not the best of views, but never mind, eh? Let's give him a bookshelf, give him something or two, a little Bible on there. A little picture of a loved one, maybe. Although, he killed his loved ones, so probably not a loved one. Maybe a favourite celebrity or something like that, who knows. We'll put a bench in here. And... Have another bench in here, like so. And materials where you can uh, change flooring, flooring, why not, make it look nice. Now, if you do things like that, that will demolish the walls to put the floor in. Be a little bit careful. If you demolish a wall in a prison that's got prisoners in, then they might just make a run for it out the hole you made. And even though it's his last cell he'll ever be in, Gonna metal flooring on this. Leave this up a little bit now. And I mean this paving stone. Ooh, that's maybe. Paving stone makes people walk faster. But this can be useful if you need to get people around your prison a little bit quicker. And again the sand makes them walk slower, so you can put this like round the outsides here. Try and stop them from escaping, maybe. Uh, for now, I'm gonna just sort of grass this up here. Make it look a bit nicer, eh? And bang some lights in. By the door, up there. Like that, maybe? That will do. Yeah, it looks nicer already. Fortunately, it will be um, the last thing he will see. Unfortunate for him. Concrete, no, oh, paving stone. Don't like that. Nice. Right, so, is our execution room. Nice wooden flooring. Bell, all nice and metal for him. Doesn't deserve it to be too nice, does he? And I think that'll do us. So let's um, move on with the story. I had a window to sell. I added a window to the cell. Oh, I did. Well, that's a small window, maybe. No. You don't need to do these things. Well, sometimes they will keep your printers happier and less likely to kick off. Alright, let's see what the chief has to say. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. I want to hear his description of what he did. Juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. See what he did. I really like how they've done this in the prison architect style. <laughs> A few of these things are from the game. Tables you can't get in the game or the telly. Let's watch. I'd catch you two here. Edward, I don't. Just, just don't. What are you going to do? Uh oh.
clear as day if you ask me. He deserves every vault he's... All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse. And he went there with a lowly gun, knowing he'd find double premeditated moist. Done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crimes 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that, Justice? You want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Oh. Saucy stuff indeed. Good work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet. It doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. another view you'll see a lot when you're building a prison. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode. Those is the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick electrical underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by this substation which draws electricity from the national grid. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power. All the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Stand the electrical cables to cover the, this white wing of the prison. But yeah, so you put down your utilities. This will give you the underground view. To, uh, plumbing, water. Where's the water? Oh, there's no water in this prison, but he doesn't seem to mind, so we won't worry about that for now. So, yeah, you just basically click and drag again, and they drag these um, straight lines. Drag them across, and your workmen, wherever they are, they're down there. We'll get the uh, cable, and then we'll start. Plumbing it in, hopefully. And it do extend a little bit to power lights and such, but other things do need directly wiring in. So this might come down here, might get to this cell, I don't know. Usually what I will do is just drag it straight down to there. Tell you what, we're going to drag it straight down to here. We can plumb this in. In a second or two, because he's going to ask us to do that in a minute. Do that. I want to break the game, leave that little bit so when he asks us to do it, we can just tap it in. So, yeah, I mean, all these shower heads and toilets should have water running to them. They usually moan if they don't, they'll have a little flashing water symbol on them. But it's just a story mode, so I guess they just you can now, they don't want to confuse people too early. What are they doing? Where are they? There we go. Now, you, sometimes you can get problems if you, um, say you build something like this. They try and get a cable in the middle. They can't get to that, so we can cause problems. Best not to sort of do things like this. Right, that's what you're saying. The lights are not the only thing that needs power. A new electric chair does too. Use the power cables to connect it. The execution facility to the power grid. The electrical chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with the mains cable. So we go back into here, do the same thing again. What we can do, we're going to put a power switch on this wall here. Oops, I had to put one underneath, maybe. Oh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If he's got both on, he should like, delete the one he doesn't need. 
another one down here. I mean, this isn't necessary at all, it just means I can flip the switch and have this power electrical air disconnected from the power supply. More useful when you're um, running out of power for things or something like that. You want to better turn off bits of your prison. Isn't always the best idea. If you've got any automated doors and you turn them off, they all open up automatically. And then, yeah, prisoners will, as I say, try and escape. <laughs> but we'll worry about that later. So there we go. He's got power. How everyone's happy? Yo. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. Really good idea. I'm going to turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything is okay. Oh no. Everything is not okay. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker. The power station. Or well, prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. First, we need to turn on the power back on. It's a two-step process. Only really a one-step process now. It used to be two-step. Push the power station back on by clicking it and selecting switch on in the on the menu that appears. Then build more three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. So before, I used to have to click on the power station. Well, you click on these first and switch all of these on, like so, and then then you click on the power station and switch that on. By seeing a two-step process, but that was laborious and unnecessary, really, especially if you had all the way around with these capacitors, which you usually end up doing because it's cheaper than buying a new power station. So now you can just click power station, switch it back on, and it turns capacitors back on with it. A lot better. Got our prisoners uh, showering off there. Bit of nudity. I have to um, age restrict this video. So have they? Come on, guys. Workmen are. I mean, they're a lot better than they used to be. They did a lot of bug fixing on them. They did have terrible pathfinding and sometimes you get stuck in doors and you just spin around in corners and one workman was meant to be putting this in and he got stuck. That job would just never get completed until you fired him. If you got a big prison trying to find a workman that's glitched himself in somewhere was a pain in the ass. As I say, that has been fixed. I'm sure there's still a few bugs in the game. Always going to happen, but yeah, they do a good job of uh, fixing them. And if you can identify them and you post them on their website, and then they go in and try and figure out why it's causing problems. Right, so we've increased the capacity. Switch on this chair, see if it works. Which that switch is on, and all looks good. Isn't it? Isn't it in power? What's this? Ooh. Ah, they're new. Anyway. Well done, I believe we're finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Yeah. Be more could seem to enjoy. Are you looking for forgiveness? 
I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. He did confess. But then he did kill his wife and her lover. This time, Edward, you have done the right thing. No, this world will not forgive you for it. You'll, you will be with God soon, and He will have the final judgment on you. I like how this game got big issues in it. It handles them very well. Now you can see why we put that switch there. A bit of aesthetics. Edward Ramsey has been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan. I'm, I'm sorry. Brian, boys. So, oh, chapter one of Prison Architect. So, very sombering issues, execution. Some people agree, some people don't agree. And they've handled it very well. And these issues have to be discussed and have to be thought about. I just gloss over them. To do nothing is to, do, is to let it happen. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, in the next episode, we will be uh, covering chapter two. This is going to be a new chapter for me. That chapter was in the alpha, and it was in for a long time. They didn't add the um, execution till quite late in development. They wanted to make sure they got it right, and I think they have. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to catch you guys next time. We will play uh, chapter two. And if you did enjoy it, please comment, uh, like, subscribe, um, thumbs up, whatever else. Um, I've got a Twitter now, so if you want to tweet me any comments or advice, it's at Hochi, I believe. I'll put, a, put it in the comments. Uh, in the comments, I'll put it in the description below. And I hope to catch you guys next time for Chapter 2 of Let's Play Prison Architects. Good night.